What's up, my dude? It's your boy Zeddy, aka Most Country Man of Madden. And today I'm bringing a subscriber submitted scheme slash tip, whatever you want to call it. Comes by a dude of a name Trayvon Prince25, who's actually has his own YouTube channel. He's a small channel, just getting started. So his link will be in the description. So if you like this tip, definitely go check him out for more tips like this in the future. I'm sure he'll be keep blabbing, coming up with some more fire like this. Now, what he hooked us with today? It's a four man double edge heat. And that's right, four man double edge heat. I know it sounds crazy and you didn't think it exists, but I'm going to show you right here it does. Now, first off, what you want to do on your right, up, on your depth chart, on your right end, I'll just show you right here. Right here, right end. Whoever you like to lurk with, or whoever, this is what you're going to want to put. So I got the Seahawks, so obviously I want Bruce Irvin here. Who, whoever your fastest, most athletic defensive end or outside linebacker, put him at right end on the depth chart. And we're going to have a nickel wide nine formation. And you have the wide nine. Now here's your packages. You can go to four defensive end. We'll see where it says hit the right stick over. It says four defensive ends. Bam. Now um, the players I'm going to be going over is auto overload blitz and auto overload three. Now I prefer the man version for when I'm doing double edge, so I'll show you the double edge which we've been advertising in right off the bat. So I'll show you the double edge. Now what you want to do? Show blitz. This guy Thurman, whoever splits and do bring him down. Spot all three defensive linemen. Bring the safety down and blitz him. Now this is all you gotta do. And obviously you'd want to man him up. Now this is Trayvon's way of doing it. I'm going to show you um, the way to enhance it and make it work coverage a lot better. We can lurk a lot better because the only thing I don't like about this is does scream. As I'll show you. See four man double edge. But um, what takes it, the only thing I don't like about it is that um, you have to use this deep tackle. You can lurk with him after it takes that one little step, but you're kind of having to step behind the scrimmage a little bit. You see it's hard to get that wheel route covered. So um, this is his way. Definitely screams out. You see, we're with some four people and getting double edge heat. Obviously, you don't have three people standing in line as spies. So, um, the only thing different I'm doing is this right here. Watch, I'm going to do the same setup. So, you can just man him up, whatever. And all I'm going to do is bring my dude back, put him in a contain. Now, um, what you want to do, have him over the center or the right guard, really doesn't make a difference. You just want that contain going over him. What you want to do, as soon as you snap the ball, you're going to hit left trigger to make your guy stop and then just lurk. That's all you do. Alright, lurk. Of course, of course, this works every time until I hit that record button. So let's do it again. Actually, I think I'm a double A. I was supposed to do it over the center. But it's whatever. Like I was saying, man him up. You don't have to. That's just optional. Just put your dude in the contain. <laughs> don't you love? Don't you love how Madden works? I've been doing this a lot over and over to make sure I did it exactly perfect for video. Maybe you have to. Yeah, I think you have to blue blitz him. <laughs> That's all I was missing. Blue blitz the end of right. All right. Now let's see if we can get this screamer screaming. Bam, there we go. Yeah, we blitz that in number out. That's what we're doing wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's do it again. Bring him down. Bam, bam, bam. I said, I, um, what I would do, I'd probably man him up. So that way, if they block the running back, I can still lurk whatever I want. But as you see, uh huh. Try to reboot it in, didn't? Tis tis tis. But as you see, though, it does scream when you set it up right. Don't be a moron like me. Reboot that in. I say you don't have to do that. Just something I do. You can move him back real as far as you want to, so you ain't really got to worry about taking away your lurk. So, like I would lurk that running back if I wasn't. You know, if you mirror the game or whatever. It's definitely nice because you are sitting four. 
about to kill a fly too right now. It's hitting me in the head, fixing to smack it. So a four man, you got two spies, you're rushing four. Obviously, if the running back's open, I have to alert that. Now, here's the, the, the one man, the one way. I don't like doing one man at a, at a man because they block the running back, you're just screwed and it's going to lob streak you. So I'll just do, I usually do double edge for the man because this is kind of a lengthy setup. So um, we can pick up. This is actually um, I just added this to my audible. It's not an audible by default. I'm running Miami playbook, but the cover through sync is it's definitely a good play. I'll show you later. So the auto below three. Now you want to do one the one way. Bring Sandu down. It's gonna smack somebody because ain't setting up. It didn't show blitz. And if you see how my guys kind of getting stuck like this, it won't be like this in a game. Just the way it is in practice mode is already set. Like I said, spy them all. You can do whatever you want. And all you want to do is blitz this linebacker. You can do it with a right stick, actually. And uh, just do the same thing over the right guard with contain. Snap the ball, bam. And what do you know? This blitz got. Uh, this is fun, but you know what? I'm not redoing it because I've already redone this crap. I had my depth chart wrong and I'm not redoing it again. So let's set it up again. Shout out to Joe. Rydale. Anyways, let's do it again. What's that linebacker? Bam, there we go, screaming. But you gotta take a step forward and hit a set left trigger and alert. Let's watch it again. Russian three people, we got two spies, we got the flats, yeah. Just do whatever you want. Now um, for left edge, just do the same thing. Show blitz. Bring this dude down. See if we're getting caught up. It's only in practice mode because they're already lined up. Bring this dude down, put him in a zone, flat, or man him up, whatever you want. Spile three guys. You don't now. This is um like I said, the spy for guys thing is Trevon's thing. But um, I like to do the container. It seems like I get better coverage. Now I could have flat or whatever I want. Of course, I forgot. I'm trying to do. I'm a moron. It's right edge. Duh! You gotta actually have them blitzing to get off the right edge, don't you? Yeah. So then do the same thing. But you gotta contain. And bam, and you scream. So we got a uh, three man right edge, three man left edge, four man double edge. And um, you just want to, all you want to do is just mix in your coverage of these. Do something like expect two man under, bring the dude down. You know what I mean? Just do whatever you want to do. Just do like, make it look the same, and all of a sudden you're in two man under. Just doing this angle actually seems to block shit pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Just alert. Uh, never good little coverage to you be um, cover to sink. I'd probably do something like this. I'd probably man his guy up in the slot. Probably spy somebody, then um, I just lurk. You know, just bring your guy up here, look the same. You know, just lurk, whatever. You get the idea. Anyway, guys, make sure you check out Trevon Prince 25 now, um, YouTube channel. He's just getting started, so he definitely um, needs some. Y'all just go subscribe to him, get some encouragement, keep labbing up some more fire like this, because um, he definitely um, just found some fire right here. I ain't seen no nobody else post any four man double edge heat, so definitely go check him out, subscribe. And also, if you like this tip, just like, comment, subscribe to me as well. So check out Trevon, and um, till then, it's your boy Zeddy. I'm out.